shoulder is adjacent to the cassette. Smile. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> it's actually like this. You forgot oh, the words. Trying. What? We're doing it here? Yes. I've never seen it done that way. That's the way it's taught. Really? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. You're yeah, exactly like you're done. Only. So we're going to do it here. Mm -hmm. It's totally opposite. This is the way you're taught. This is the way we're taught. <laughs> I'm sure that at Spine Center and Fremont, Smith Glen, Smith Glen, yeah, wherever, you can go maybe. Okay, the upright position. The mid coronal plane should form a 45 to 60 degree angle with the IR. Arms should be relaxed at the patient's side. Arm position will not affect the relationship of the humeral head and the glenoid fossa. Palpate the scapula and place its flat surface perpendicular to the IR. Perpendicular. Palpate the scapula. Here, where's the edge of your scapula? Oh, I can't feel the scapula. Can you feel it? Maybe not. You're muscly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not big. You're muscle. Which is good. Wait. Oh, wait. There. Wait. There it is. I'm trying to pop it out. So out. here's the flat surface. Right here. So and I it should be perpendicular to your central right. So I think like that. I feel like she's trying to laugh. I feel like that. But it could be. Yeah. yeah. She's about 45. Ah. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're skimming. You're kind of going in right at the shoulder blade. You're skimming it. And you're perpendicular. In a normal shoulder, the, shoulder, the humeral head is superimposed over the junction of the Y. If an anterior dislocation of the humeral head is projected beneath the coracoid process, in a posterior dislocation, the humeral head is projected beneath the acromion process. And I don't know if you have to do that for your written test, but it's in my do. notes. So, we do. she give you that information? So, it is a big, ten, oh, it's a small 10 by 12? They have 10 by 12 on here for your cassette, so. But you think about it, you don't need that much room for that. Any questions? Okay, shoulder joint, glenoid cavity.